Hello, uh, this question is about the Stokes law. Uh, the, question is, the question is calculate the upper limit of particle diameter d max as a function of particle density rho s for sedimentation in the Stokes law regime. Assume the particle is spherical and settling in a fluid with density 500 kg per cubic meter and viscosity 2 times 10 to the minus 3 pascal second. Uh, we know that uh, in the Stokes regime, this, the Reynolds number should be less than 0.3. In other words, the upper limit of the Reynolds number should be 0.3. So if we write the definition of Reynolds number is equal to rho f times velocity times d divided by mu, the upper limit of the Reynolds number should be 0.3 in the Stokes regime. In other words, uh, on the other hand, we know that the terminal velocity in the Stokes regime can be calculated as rho s minus rho f times d squared g divided by 18 times mu. Okay, so if you substitute this equation into the definition of the Reynolds number, you will get uh, rho f times vt. Instead of vt, I put this definition that is rho s minus rho f d2 g divided by 18 mu times d divided by uh, mu, which times 18 mu will be mu 2, should be equal to 0.3, okay? So now if you rearrange this equation and express d as a function of the rest, you will get d will be equal to uh, 0.3 times 18 times mu 2 divided by this, which will be rho s minus rho f times rho f times g with the power of 1 divided by 3 because d2 times this d, 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 d will be d3 okay and now here you can substitute the values given in the question for example you know the value of the uh, rho f and you know the value of the mu and if you do that you will get uh, you will get d equal to 0.3 times 18 times 2 times 10 to the minus 3 with the power of 2, that is the viscosity, divided by rho s minus 500, that is given in the question, times 500 times 9.81, okay, with the power of 1 divided by 3, we can make it simpler as d will be equal to uh, 0, 0, 1, 6, 4, divided by third root of rho s minus 500. And that is basically the answer to the question. The question was uh, about uh, calculating the upper limit of particle diameter as a function of the particle density.